in this video I'm going to be going through Hirschsprung's disease. Hirschsprung's disease is a congenital condition where the nerve cells of the myenteric plexus are absent in the distal bowel and rectum. The myenteric plexus, which is also known as Auerbach's plexus, forms the enteric nervous system. It's the brain of the gut. This nerve plexus runs all the way along the bowel in the bowel wall and is a complex web of neurons, ganglion cells, receptors, synapses, and neurotransmitters. And it's responsible for stimulating peristalsis of the large bowel. Without this stimulation, the bowel loses its motility and stops being able to pass food along its length. The key pathophysiology in Hirschsprung's disease is the absence of the parasympathetic ganglion cells. During fetal development, these cells start higher up in the gastrointestinal tract and migrate gradually down to the distal colon and the rectum. Hirschsprung's disease occurs when the parasympathetic ganglion cells do not travel all the way down the colon and a section of colon at the end is left without these parasympathetic ganglion cells. The length of the colon without innervation varies between patients from a small area to the entire colon. When the entire colon is affected, this is called total colonic aganglionosis. The aganglionic section of the colon does not relax causing it to become constricted, and this leads to a loss of movement of feces and obstruction in the bowel. Proximal to the obstruction, the bowel becomes distended and full. Let's talk about the genetics and associations with Hirschsprung's disease. There are a number of genes on various chromosomes that may have a modifying effect to increase the risk of Hirschsprung's disease. A family history of Hirschsprung's disease greatly increases the risk. Therefore, when you're considering a diagnosis of Hirschsprung's, always take a careful family history. Hirschsprung's disease usually occurs in isolation. However, it is associated with a number of other syndromes, including Down syndrome, neurofibromatosis, Wardenberg syndrome, which is a genetic condition that causes pale blue eyes, hearing loss, and patches of white hair and skin, and multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2. Let's talk about the presentation. The severity of the presentation and the age at diagnosis vary significantly depending on the individual and the extent of the bowel that's affected. It can present with acute intestinal obstruction shortly after birth, or more gradually developing symptoms of a delay in passing meconium of more than 24 hours, chronic constipation since birth, abdominal pain and distension, vomiting, and poor weight gain and failure to thrive. There's a condition called Hirschsprung's associated enterocolitis. And Hirschsprung's associated enterocolitis is inflammation and obstruction of the intestine occurring in around 20% of neonates with Hirschsprung's disease. It typically presents within two to four weeks of birth with a fever, abdominal distension, diarrhea, often with blood, and features of sepsis. It's life threatening and it can lead to toxic megacolon and perforation of the bowel and it requires urgent antibiotics, fluid resuscitation, and decompression of the obstructed bowel. Let's talk about management of Hirschsprung's generally. An abdominal x-ray can be helpful in diagnosing intestinal obstruction and demonstrating features of Hirschsprung's associated enterocolitis. A rectal biopsy is used to confirm the diagnosis and this is the key fact to remember for your exams. The bowel histology will demonstrate an absence of ganglionic cells. 
Unwell children and those with enterocolitis will require initial fluid resuscitation and management of the intestinal obstruction. IV antibiotics are required in Hirschsprung's associated enterocolitis. And definitive management is by surgical removal of the aganglionic section of the bowel. Most patients will live a normal life after the corrective surgery. Although they can have long-term disturbances in bowel function and they may be left with some degree of incontinence.